Welcome to the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta and in today's video I'm going to show you some of the VIP areas in the Balloon Fiesta. As you can see the Balloon Fiesta is a very crowded place with lots of people. It's kind of hard to navigate around and um, there are some VIP experiences that you can pay for where you have some private areas to sit and enjoy the balloons with some amenities such as food and drink. So I am going to try to get down to the south end of the field to show you some of our first VIP areas. Now with the standard admission ticket, you get access to the field where you can walk around in and amongst the balloons and you can really get a real good up close and personal look at the balloons. As they're lifting, you cheer them on. As they lift off the ground, you can watch them fill the balloons with air. They have some special shaped balloons such as Darth Vader where you get the Star Wars characters. So it really is worth the experience if you are able to walk around in crowds such as these. It really is worth it for just a standard admission ticket to come in and be part of the action here on the ground. If you have mobility issues and you can't walk around good in crowds, you might be interested in some of these VIP experiences. Now I'm going to pause a minute and show you what it's like here on the ground. The balloons are lifting off all around me. So we have the Chasers Club and the Skybox on the north end of the field. And we have the Gondola Club and the Balloon Museum VIP space on the south end of the field. And they're cheering on the balloons as they lift up. There we go. They're coming this way, you guys. I'm heading down to the south end of the field now to try to show you some of the VIP experiences that they have down there. I got oh, caught in the cow. excitement of the balloons lifting off, so I got stopped for a few minutes. That was super cool. Now these tents here on the south side of the field, these are the corporate tents. So various companies that work here in the Albuquerque area have these corporate tent areas. What you can count on every year is the Albuquerque box is a very special weather condition where you have winds that flow to the south at the lower elevations and then they flow to the north at the higher elevations. So every year in Balloon Fiesta, the balloons always float south first. So the VIP areas that are on the south side of the field are going to see all the balloons flying over them. The glamping areas and the camping areas, those are also on the south side of the field. Now here is a special sponsor hospitality place, so if you or your company are sponsoring the Balloon Fiesta or a balloon, you can watch the Balloon Fiesta the tiger balloon from this special uh, area. Maybe you want to see it. I've had it called up here on my spotting chart for like a half an hour so I can talk about it, but I know you wanted to stand up so people can see it. Um, but I'm ready when they do. There go the Hartzels high overhead. I don't know which is in what. And so we'll now, just I'm leave it at that. I'm looking for the Gondola Club. Too difficult to try to figure out. Who's and they said that is on the southwest corner of the field, so I think I see it up ahead. Okay, I found it. The very far southwest corner of the field is the Gondola Club. Now, this is the premier area for a VIP experience here at the Balloon Fiesta. 
honestly, the location is perfect because all the balloons fly overhead because they all head south after they take off from the field. Now, I do not have tickets to the Gondola Club, so I am outside the fence. So they have this you can easily see the pond here, the which plane. allows for absolutely beautiful uh, photographs. I wondered where people were getting those photographs. So there's special food. You can buy drinks. It's $130 an adult per session. It's $70 per kids. Kids under three are free and it's a reserved area. You have special parking with the Gondola Club, private seating, delicious food, and private restrooms. It's a little bit of a golf course here. I always wondered where the photographers got those special photos of the balloon fiesta with the water reflections. Well, here it is on the southwest corner of the field in front of the gondola club. There's a little pond because it's a little golf area that you can enjoy. You can get some really good photographs over here. We were talking about uh, stuff for sale and uh, oh, yeah. for pickup. Yeah, I, what I was going to say was a lot of times the uh, military officers. Quite honestly, it's a nice, quiet area, here. kind of away from the crowds with, with the beautiful views. This is a really great people. place to hang out. Yeah, how many of us? We, we could probably name half the shapes here. That yeah, exactly now, the Gondola that Club also has yeah, little heaters, so on a special uh, uh, cold morning. Spec. Yeah, that would be a really cool place to stay. Okay, so that's the Gondola Club. We're going to head back over. Next, I'm going to show you the Chasers Club, and that's located on the north side of the field. Since all the balloons travel south, the Gondola Club really has the prime location for balloons flying over. And there's special parking, so I wonder if that's that behind me. You can see there's a few flags behind me, if you can see it. And there's some cars parked over there. I'm guessing that's the premier parking. Now, one of the things that's very important, if you buy Gondola Club tickets, you're gonna get a special parking pass. So you need to pay very special attention to the directions of where to park and where to go for those services. Around the Balloon Fiesta, they basically close the roads. They redirect roads to force traffic to come in one way into the Fiesta. So if you get special parking passes, you really need to pay attention to the specific directions that they give you. Otherwise, you're gonna end up, you know, if you try to just look on a map and find your own way, you're not gonna be able to get to where you need to go. I have never been over to this side of the field on the southwest corner, and it is really, really beautiful. Okay, as I make my way to the north side of the field for the Chasers Club, I'm gonna talk about the concierge program. Now, I seem to have trouble pronouncing the word concierge, concierge. If you watch my channel enough, you know that I don't always know the best way to pronounce things, so bear with me. But if you have mobility issues, you basically get a private tour guide and you get a golf cart and they will drive you around the Balloon Fiesta giving you a special tour. Now, the tour guides for this program our balloon pilots and there's there's a limit i believe there's only six per session at the balloon fiesta because they really know what they're talking about they're not just anybody so there's a limited number of people that have the skill set required for that program now you don't now you don't have to park at the general admission parking area you actually go and park at the balloon fiesta offices which is that's actually a huge perk because that's the reason why you have to come so incredibly early because parking is so difficult at the Balloon Fiesta. It's $350 for one to two guests, it's $400 for three guests, and it's $450 for four guests. And that would be about a full golf cart if you have four people coming along with you. You can do shopping on Main Street, you can do um, just about anything you could do at the Balloon Fiesta, but you can come with a golf cart ride so you don't have to walk around and fight the crowds. Now, as part of the concierge service, you don't necessarily get food with your ticket price. But what you do get is a golf cart ride 
down Main Street where you can, you know, ask them to stop wherever you'd like and you can buy whatever you'd like to eat. So they're really there at your service for whatever you need. They'll take you wherever you want to go. I'm sure they have some areas that they know to show you to get what you want to see. And then if you like, I want to go over to this tent, I saw some gifts I want to buy at this particular tent, then they'll take you where you need to go. Now, one of the other things to note about some of these special programs at the um, Chasers Club or the Gondola Club is you really don't want to combine a balloon ride with staying at those spots. If you get a balloon ride, you're not going to be spending your time in those seating areas. There's a long wait for the balloon rides. You're going to be up and about. And so that's something that you should plan on doing at a different time. Can you see the sky behind me? This is what makes it so special during Balloon Fiesta. The entire sky of Albuquerque is filled with balloons all around me. And this is like fantastic weather conditions. Sometimes it can be really, really cold at the Balloon Fiesta. Like sometimes we get our first freeze around this time of the year, but um, not today. It's been warm. I think it was like maybe 47 degrees this morning and there's a light breeze. Uh, really quite comfortable. So I think, you know, when you look for these big holes, this is kind of telling you where the special areas are. Now, somewhere over here, I think they just have like a drink tent, like a drinking area. And some here is the Chasers Club. So let me find where the Chasers Club is. Now this area is the group tour. I guess if you, you know, hire a group tour via some of the travel companies, then that's where they have a reserved place for you. And then here's the Chasers Club area, right here. Is that bad? That's bad, it is. Behind this fence. So the Chasers Club is $65 per person, and kids under six are free. She turns around and buys another special shape. So you're guaranteed to have a seat. Diane Carlson is actually from Plano Pins. Plano Pin Company. Plano Pins makes all of the special pins. This is the Chasers Club. You're guaranteed to have a seat if you buy a ticket to the Chasers Club. You have a private area, so you don't have to mess with the crowds, and of course you have a nice place to sit. They also also have heaters. The view behind me is what you see from the Chasers Club. Now they have food and they have alcohol available for purchase here. And the food options here at the Chasers Club is just a little bit of a lighter menu items. The Gondola Club, you know, you pay quite a bit more so you get more of a hot breakfast. Here at the Chasers Club, I believe you get one hot item and then cold items for your breakfast. If you have mobility issues, from what I remember, the handicapped area of the parking was generally closer to the north side of the field. So this is a good option if you just want to have a guaranteed place to sit during the fiesta. Comfortable, comfortable area here. Dos Equis must be a sponsor with their big old sign here. 
at Balloon Fiesta, and uh, he and I discovered we both started at Balloon Fiesta in 1990, the same year together. Wow! Our first years uh, as officials here. Cool. Behind me are the Fiesta boxes. This is fairly new to the Balloon Fiesta, and if you have a group of 20, you can rent one of these sky boxes for $5,000. You have your own host, you get a little bit of food, you have a few drinks that are provided to your group, and you have a special area that is away from the crowds and a little bit of lift so that you can see over to watch the balloons in the sky. And most importantly, you get private restrooms here in the skybox area. This is my favorite balloon here. Kind of the hippy dippy trippy look here. Look at this. Even the north part of the sky. Now, as I talked about the Albuquerque box, as the balloons get higher in elevation, then they start to head north. So the people that stay in the Chasers Club that are on the north side of the field, you know, the balloons will come back over when they're a little bit higher in the sky. So no matter where you are around Balloon Fiesta Park, you're going to get to see the balloons from a very unique perspective. I did forget to mention that Gondola Club has its own private gift shop and courtesy shuttles. That is a huge perk that makes the Gondola Club worth the extra cost. Now something else I forgot to mention is if you buy these VIP experiences at the Balloon Fiesta and there is a bad weather day, you do not get a refund. You can still come down to the park, experience the morning at the park, even on a bad weather day. The balloons, unless it's raining really hard, the balloons will typically inflate on the field, but if the winds are really bad, they're not gonna fly. So if that happens, you will still get a rain check to come back to the Fiesta, but you'll have to come back to the Fiesta as a general admission ticket. You will not get to come back on another event and like go back to the Gondo Club because they've already sold out their gondola club tickets for the next session. So, a little bit of a risk you take. I tell you that the city of Albuquerque does everything possible in their power to get the balloons up. So it's a very rare event when the balloons don't go up at all, but it does occasionally happen. South of Balloon Fiesta Park, outside of the admission area, is the Balloon Museum. Now the Balloon Museum is pretty cool. Um, I recorded something a little bit earlier before the Balloon Fiesta that I could share with you about the history of Balloon Fiesta, the people that really got this started here in the town of Albuquerque, and some of the historic flights that they made over the Pacific and the Atlantic. So once I get that video done, I will have the link to it down in the description as well as at the end of this video. But it's a nonprofit foundation and they host a VIP event from an observation deck inside the museum, and the museum is really beautiful. So I'd like to show you at least what the facility looks like from the outside, and then you can get a little perspective of what you can see from there, from the field. Now, of course, earlier in the day when the balloons are heading south is where you're gonna get the maximum awe over the Balloon Museum. And then behind the Balloon Museum is where the glamping sites and the camping sites are. They've made up a space behind the Balloon Museum, behind the parking lot. Now, I guess I'm headed south, so south of the Balloon Museum, south of the parking lot. And they've taken over some baseball fields and they've turned those into some glamping and camping sites. So I'll provide you some more information about that shortly. Now, I have just walked out of gate 20. I'm gonna show you the Balloon Fiesta. Museum, which is this building right here. Looks kind of far away from the perspective of my GoPro, but I'm gonna walk over there and give you a closer look and see what they have set up over there. And I think after the Fiesta, you could probably walk over there and pay admission price to go see the Balloon Museum. You can't drive to the Balloon Museum during the Fiesta because the roads would be closed off. So if you're here and you park, you could walk over to the museum I can actually see the observation deck on the second level of the museum. That looks like a beautiful place to take in the Balloon Fiesta. So what you get from this program is dining and VIP amenities 
basically you get your tickets to this one from the Balloon Museum Foundation website, which I will also link to. It's $200 for adults, and it's an extra $50 if you want to eat while you're here. You do get a parking pass for every four tickets, and you'll get a special parking area that's different than the main parking at the Fiesta. Oh, and over here outside of Gate 20 is also the Bike Valet. There are a number of bike paths throughout the city that make their way over here towards Bloom Fiesta Park. So that's also over here. Camp 505 is brand new this year and they're offering fully outfitted tents for a slightly cheaper price. I think it's $800 for a group of up to three campers. I know it's for two. I think a tent can take up to three people and they furnish the sleeping bags and the pads and the tent. And the advantage of course is that you will wake up right here and you won't have to deal with the traffic at the Fiesta. It's a more affordable option. Now they have glamping that they've had for at least a couple of years, I believe. And that's quite a bit more expensive. The glamping sites are $1,600 for the cheapest setup. That takes uh, one queen or two queen beds for two people. Then if you have three guests, it's $2,100. Four guests, $2,600. Now you have to reserve a three day stay at the glamping tents. And they're heated, which is a plus because it can get really cold. And the tents look pretty nice. And they kind of have a communal location with a shower trailer and a restroom trailer that you can use. Grills, barbecue area. I am obviously going against the crowd. These are the people leaving to get back on the park and ride buses. The park and ride buses are all along over there. I hope this video was helpful explaining some of the VIP events that we have here at the Balloon Fiesta. Now, if you're interested in other first timer tips, I have a video on my channel called 10 Essential Tips. Now it was filmed like the year after COVID. So there's a couple of things that are a little out of date regarding masks, but it has some really good tips on some things you need to know if you visit the Fiesta. So check that out.